Hello everyone, it is Elisa here or the Diamond Stitcher as I go by on YouTube and Instagram. Hello, good morning or good afternoon, whatever time it is that you are watching this video. If you're new to the channel, hello. I'm uh, really glad you're here. I hope you would consider subscribing and sticking around for all things diamond painting related. I try and post a couple videos a week right now while I can. And if you're coming back, you know I appreciate your support so much. You may recognize this package based on colors, based on the wrapping, based on a few different things. Now, this is my most recent Mooney Made haul. I can't wait to get into this box. It arrived yesterday and I was feeling too sick to unbox it. Uh, but this morning I've gotten myself up. I've got the energy and I want to take a look at what we have here because Mooney Made was so nice to allow me to make a couple of purchases and throw it all in one box for me because if you're Canadian, you know, buying from USA Small Shop is expensing on the shipping end, right? So we'll get more into that near the end. But let's take a look. Now, I know I have a couple diamond paintings in here. What I might do is a... Let me think. I have some trays in here too. So what I might do is just like open this and let's see what's all inside this box. And then I'll decide based on timing if I'm going to uh, show you these canvases each in a separate video or what we're going to do. Uh, I also did order some glitter drills I'm remembering now as I see them there. So let me pull this box out of the way so I can get to the packages inside. Now just give me a minute. I wish I could sing or... Maybe I'll put some music on while I <laughs> figure things out here. So let's see. Here's Mooney Maid's thank you card. She sends in her boxes. Thank you. And she just writes a little note. Um, thanks so much for buying so much and being patient. If you didn't know M, the owner of the shop, Mooney Maid, she is pregnant. And she's actually nearing uh, the birth of her first child. So um, if you also follow her on social media, you'll know that her pregnancy has been nothing but but um, easy. It's been very hard is what I'm trying to say. She's been quite sick. So that is awesome. Now, I know that this is special with one of the kits. So let's see. I want to show you this here off to the right is actually what the upgraded tool kit looks like. So I want to make sure that I am, um, you know, showing things properly so that you know exactly what you're going to be getting. I did elect to also add on some dust sleeves. These are Mooney Maid's dust sleeves. They're made of a, a kind of like a flannel bag with a, a pretty drawstring. Uh, instead of a plastic dust cover, you can upgrade to this. And then she doesn't have them in individual boxes. She will put this right into this big cardboard shipping box. But as you can see, it's a very sturdy box and there is no, no um, dents on the box at all. So it survived shipping quite well let me now this is a smaller one this is the big one let me move this over here so maybe this is what I'll do let's see let's look at the trays first so getting a Mooney made tray here's her information actually here's another one of her cards so she's everywhere Instagram at Mooney made with love Twitter at Mooney made now Twitter is where she will announce shop stuff first I have Twitter for the only reason still is to um hear from Moody Maid because when she's restocking her website or when she's putting her trays up for sale that is where you hear from at first so if you can if you have Twitter make sure you're following her then she's also on Facebook and of course YouTube there's the name of her shop I love how her colors are she sticks to the color theme I think it's awesome this is a little freebie it looks like it's a little sketchbook that's very very cute with some bumblebees Now, recently, when I when I placed an order for these trays, she actually had listed them as, I think, mystery bundles, I think is what they were called. So I don't know what colors or combinations I have in these trays. I just picked up three small sizes, and it's a complete mystery. So let's, let's get into it and see. She always packages things so nicely with pretty tissue paper, and then inside they're bubble wrapped as well, so you can be sure... Ooh, this is a pretty one. So you can be sure that they are safe in shipping. This is one of, it looks like, at least the lid is. Yeah, I think it is. One of her magic colors that she's made. Just a little bit of dust in there. Nothing uh, to worry about. There we go. So 
I decided, or this bundle, I should say, did come with the lid and the stopper as well. Uh, her branding is on the side. I couldn't tell you what color this actual tray is. Looks like it's a type of red. Got cat hair in it already. And then she's got a color changing yellow pink. I think it's like strawberry banana. I could be totally making up that name. And then she's put a matching orange stopper in. So that's really cool. I love it. It's got a shiny look to it. So it looks like it's a silk filament. I actually love silk trays. I, I find the diamonds will move a little bit easier on silk trays. So super happy with this color. You will see the size difference between... Let me pull it out, actually. I will show the large tray in more in depth when we get to it, but this is the size difference. So she offers two trays. This blue one on the left is her large, and this one on the right is her small. Typically, even thickness-wise, they are different. You can see that. Typically, I like the small ones. They fit better in my hand, and you can get quite a lot of multi-placing done with them. They line up drills really nice. Let's test it out. Sorry, I've got a bunch of crystals back here and I'm trying to find a color that would stand out. Let's just do yellow. I don't know if it'll stand out. Oh yeah, we'll be able to see it. Oops, too many, <laughs> too many. Let me try to shake this without making a mess. I put way too many in here, but you get the gist of how nicely they line up the drills. See that? Absolutely beautiful. They work really well with square and rounds. Let me pour these guys back. They pour back really easy. If you don't overfill your tray. <laughs> A few taps to the side and it empties really nicely. I like the way their spout is. Makes it easy to pour the diamonds back. So really happy with this color. Now let's see what else we got in here. I love Ladybug sticker. Again, these trays were part of the mystery bundle, so we didn't get to choose what trays we got. She just filled how many ever we ordered and sent them off to us. This one is a pretty light purple. I love that because it will work really well with all sorts of colors of diamonds. So we've got a nice light pinky purple with her name on the side. Blue lid, blue stopper, very cute, very matching. Kind of looks like, a, I think she used to have a unicorn themed color tray and this kind of looks similar. So that's really pretty. And the last one here. Ooh, this, this is going to be one of my favorites, I can tell. So we've got, it looks like a pearly white lid. Whoops. <laughs> I'm trying to open the wrong side. So this isn't a pearly white lid. This is a, a, a printed, maybe in a, a type of rainbow filament. It's a green and a silver. And in the Mooney Maid sign here, you can kind of see some yellow as well. So that lid pops off. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. That's beautiful. And the, I love that the yellow is in the base of the tray. It's going to make seeing color diamonds a lot easier. My eyes have trouble with really dark colored trays. So I really lucked out with these ones that I caught. Absolutely love this color. I'm definitely going to be using this one a lot. Just, it just um, yells, use me. Is <laughs> what I'm trying to think. Now, if I can remember correctly, I have a feeling that these mystery bundles too were trays that she decided were not up to par to be sold. I could be totally pulling that out of my, you know what, but pretty sure. As you can see, a little bit of discoloration here, here, nothing that's going to affect the tray at all. So it doesn't matter. As I said, her standards are so high that her discount trays don't even need to be at a discount. It's perfectly fine the way it is. So those are my three small trays I got to add to my collection. I have, this will make, I think I have six or seven small trays now. I used to have a ton of them, but when I decided to stop kidding up into trays, I actually destashed a whole bunch of trays to fellow Canadians because one, it's really hard to get your hands on Mooney made trays and two, uh, shipping is prohibitive, so I thought I would share my stash with others. I decided to pick up some of her glitter drills this time. Let's pour some out into this tray. Well, I'm going to do the darker color just because it'll show up better. Better put that lid on. These are nice little jars she has with a nice label on them and their screw top. 
I could see lots of uses out of those. I could use it as a trash drill minder too when I'm done with the glitter drills. So these are Moody Maid's glitter drills. Okay, there's little gold specks of gold glitter on the very top. I hope it's not too blurry for you to see. And I just got a bunch of random colors. I wanted a few squares. I've got, looks like these two purples are in square and these three are in rounds. I've got a pretty periwinkle color. This is really pretty. A very pretty uh, light blue color. And a very pretty kind of emerald green color. I've been lately gravitating towards more round diamond paintings just because they go a little bit faster and they're a little bit easier when it comes to uh, placing them. Not as much arm strength is required to place them, so they're a little bit easier for me. She has a variety of different colors. You can check on her website to see what's in stock. I... I'm trying to think. I don't think I've used... I think this is the first time I've ordered drills from her, so I can't wait to put these down in a painting. I wonder if one of these Mooney Made paintings will have somewhere that glitter drills would look nice and I could take a look. Let's put these to the side. Now, I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I forgot to put the stopper in here. We're at, we're at it just over 10 minutes. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox one of the smaller diamond paintings in this one. And then the bigger one, I'm going to put on its own, depending on time-wise. I just don't want this video to be too long and for you all to get bored. But I do want to show you what I got. Now, I'm going to move the camera back. Bear with me here. I'm also going to quickly close the door because I'm my husband's going to come any moment. So I am going to open this one. This is a shorter painting, that's why. The pre I, I didn't get a premium toolkit for both of these. I just got it for one. Premium toolkit, if I'm re recalling correctly, I think it was an extra $38 or $39. Here, let me see. She did include an invoice, actually. Let me see. Oh, it doesn't have the prices on it, just the quantity. So I can't quite recall, but um, $38 is, 30 something is in my head for the premium toolkit. This one I elected not to get a premium toolkit because I don't need lots, right? So I like these dust bags. They come in random colors. This one is a green one. And random sizes, obviously. And then inside this diamond painting, you can see it is secured in a sealed bag. So I have to cut it to open it. So that's really nice. So you don't have to be worried about your painting, uh, the shipping company, you know, not taking care of it and water getting in and sealed. As you see, I just did a little cut at the top. That way I can put it back in this bag if I would like to. I like her packaging. She's got a cute little bow and then she has the picture of the original artwork. So this one is called Roselle by Michelle. I'm, pro I'm not going to pronounce your name right. If you are watching, I'm sorry, but there's her name down there. Michelle. This is a round diamond painting measuring 50 by 67 centimeters. When I saw this image previewed, I knew I had to have it. I just thought she was so beautiful. And you'll see why in a minute. Let me move this stuff out of the way. I absolutely love, well, as you can see, the diamond painting, because the way it's packaged and shipping, it's going to do this. Mooney Base diamond paintings are poured glue, which means you can roll them back on their self. Rolling them backwards, all it does is help that diamond painting lie a little bit flatter. So I'm going to quickly do that. Rolling poured glue doesn't damage it at all. That's why poured glue is kind of industry standard. Now let me see if I can zoom out a bit again. We won't get uh, her in full frame, but I'm going to do a pan over of the canvas. Oh my gosh, she's absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. You can't even see. I wish I could. Let's move her up a little bit so you can see the glowing of flowers. That's why you can see the glowing on her face is from these flowers that are really glowing. Um, first thing I'm noticing is amazing clarity in her symbols. Everything stands out nicely. There are some symbols that might... I'm just looking now because her entire diamond painting grid, the symbol color is all black. There might be a reason for that. 
I was just going to say that there's some areas where the printing is like the this really deep red. There's a D on it. I could see it no problem. And with my light pad, it would be better. But if this D was in white instead, it would just stand out a little bit more for those people that don't like working on with a light pad. Uh, but the clarity of their printing is so good that I don't think it will make a big difference. Her glue is nice and sticky. I don't know if you could hear that. Super, super sticky. On her edges, it overhangs a tiny bit, not a lot. Now, this is where most a lot of people will put washi tape. Some people will find a matching washi tape for their kit, and then they will outline the entire diamond painting with it. And that's to cover that overhang of glue. It's about a few millimeters off to the side here, less down here. As you saw, her logo is at the top, nice and simple. You can see the edges are poked and scalloped. This canvas, it's got the soft backing. It's a soft lint backing, but it's thick. It's not like it's sturdy. It doesn't feel flimsy. It feels like it's got a good, a good weight to it. It feels, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Fancy? <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word, but that's the word I'm going with today. You can see her schematic is in the top left and bottom right. So schematic is the legend on either side. We also have a sticker sheet I'll show you in a minute with the legend on it. And then up at the top, right on this one, she has a thumbnail of the or original artwork, the model number and the sizes. If you ever have a problem with a canvas from any shop, they may ask you what the model number is for the canvas so they can track where the issue came from. That would be what they're asking for. Just a little tip if you hear that. In her schematic, she has the serial number, the symbol code, and the DMC number. Let's... Let's look at the sticker sheet first. I'm trying to think here, guys. Now, she sends out this printout with some information on her shop, Mooney Made. As you can see, I'm not going to read everything. That's a lot of information, but some, some tips and tricks down here at the bottom. Some of their policies, so their return policy, if you run out of drills, they will send you more. Uh, of course, her artwork is licensed. Licensed means that the artist was paid, and she also gave permission for the art to be used in a diamond painting. And then something I like about Moody Made is the rendering. So her diamond paintings are hand charted. She has hired somebody to do that, and I think that they do a really good job. I've only had one finish from Moody Made, but uh, it was the B. Uh, hang in there. I'll Post a quick picture up here so you can see it. Um, I just love how it's rendered. There's a good mix of confetti and color blocking, lots of areas of smaller smaller color blocking. I think, I think it makes the finished painting look really nice. That's just my opinion. I like the look of it. Where I hang my completed diamond paintings is in an area that's quite close up to viewing distance. So for me, these this type of rendering suits where I put the artwork, so that's why I like it. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Sticker sheet. It's quite big. So if you have trouble seeing, you won't have trouble seeing this. Let me try and open it so it's not rolling on itself. So it is a big piece of paper. What I do is I will cut this sticker out and I'll put that in my paper log book. Let me zoom in a bit. Um, this is what I will cut out and I'll put in my paper log book so that I have a copy of the original artwork. As you can see through here, those flowers are glowing and it's glowing onto her face. Something about this. I don't know. I saw it and I just loved it. I love flowers. I love the image. Again, it is a round diamond painting. Her rounds are really good. The bee that I worked on was a round diamond painting. They fit together really nicely and I had no problem. There was virtually, virtually... Actually, I think there was zero trash. I do not recall finding one diamond with a tab on it, to be honest. Her stickers here are pre-cut. They should be, yeah. Uh, I'll just show you here and lift it off. I don't I don't usually like doing this because I'm going to lose it. So one symbol, 152. So you can remember serial number, the code, and the DMC number. Now the DMC is actually color coding for floss, for cross stitch. Uh, Diamond painting uses the same numbering system. So this numbering system will stay the same in terms of the color of the diamond. So for example, a 310 will always be black, right? Uh, the symbol may change from painting to painting. And the serial number may change from painting to painting. Where the DMC is in the, the scheme of things might change. So 
I'm saying this because if you want to store Mooney Maid's leftover diamonds, so when you're finished the kit and you have your leftovers, if you're going to store them, you want to use the DMC number to store them. So just a little tip on that. Let's look at some of the symbols up close. I'm not seeing any any blurry symbols. What I am seeing like here, the eight, that could be a white symbol. It would just make it stand out a little bit more. The other thing I'm noticing is here, you can see serial number four is color code eight. So that can trip some people up. If, if you're easily confused by that, then when you're kitting up into your containers or your baggies, consider blocking off that serial number. What happens sometimes if you're in the zone and you're diamond pinning away, you might not notice that you're supposed to be grabbing the fourth color and instead you grab the eighth color, which is a, an A, if that makes sense at all. So make sure you're double checking here when you have a number as a symbol that you're grabbing the right diamond, bag of diamonds, okay? Uh, we have a nine that's a 10 down here as well. We have a four and a five that are 25, 26. That might be something I'll send along as a little thing that, that if a supplier can fix that, that would be handy. I think it would be an easy fix. They would just have to tell their computer system, you know, maybe go in and hand do it so that a one is a one, a two is a two, a three is a three. But otherwise, I'm not seeing any problems. I'm not seeing anything that, that is going to trip me up. So let's take a closer look at this canvas and then we will take a look at the diamonds. Okay guys, I hope you could see the amazing clarity in the symbols. There's a lot of color blocking in the sky, which I'm really happy for. Lots of different shades of purple and pink, which are my favorite color. Well, purple is not so much pink, but <laughs> I don't hate it. I think our hair is rendered very nicely with all sorts of different colors, which means we'll see a lot of shading in there. Can't wait to see her finished. Actually, if you want to see a finished version of her, I will um send you over to Mooney Maid's Facebook group she has a Facebook group I'm gonna link it in the description I can't quite remember the name of it I think it's called Mooney Fam all things Mooney Maid or home of Mooney Maid something like that and a fellow community member recently finished this one so you can see uh, what she looked like with the diamond stone if you'd like let's take a look at the diamonds so as you can see lots of hues of pinks browns reds it's gonna be a little bit of a crinkle Now, I don't want to take all of these out because I don't want them to uh, get mixed up here. Where's the, I did see the ABs. Now, that's one thing I forgot to mention on her sticker sheet. So as you can see at the bottom here, there are two ABs charted. So her special diamonds tend to be at the bottom here. Uh, we have an AB666 and AB741. I'm just going to close the door. I don't know if you heard that. My husband and cat snuck in here to get a change of clothes. Now, where's the other AB? I'm only seeing one. Did hide? There it is. So hiding. So our ABs in here are a red and an orange. So AB666. As you, you can really see that AB coating here. See that? So the AB coating is painted on the top of the diamonds. So the base of the diamond is red and then we have that painted on coating and you can see all sorts of colors jumping off depending on the way the light hits it. So I'm seeing blues, greens, oranges, yellows, purples, pinks, all sorts of colors. And that mimics what the Northern Lights look like. And then our orange AB is 741. There's just a little bit of this. So we'll take a look and see where this goes. As you can see, like the quality of these diamonds looks amazing. I'm not seeing any tabs on it. Maybe one tiny, tiny one, but otherwise nothing to worry about. No trash, no extra bits, no dust. 
that's what I was really impressed with is the quality of her diamonds when I worked on my last diamond painting. Let me just grab this diamonds, take a look as well. We've got a higher quantity of diamonds. Nice uniform in size, not seeing lots of trash. And the top of them, it's, it's really hard to capture in camera, but the shine on these diamonds is amazing. Let me pour some into a tray, actually, since we have this tray right behind me. So we can take a look at some of her normal round drills. I hope there's not... I'm not seeing, look at that, zero static, so that's really nice. Let me shake these trays. I like working with these trays. They work really well. Just don't want to make a mess here. So I, it's going to be hard, but you can take a closer look at the facets. Lots of facets on them. I'm not sure how many. Mooney Maid, if you're watching this, maybe you can let us know how many facets there are. Looks like there's quite a bit on here. These diamonds are looking really uniform in size and you can see that they're sitting really nice and close together, which means it's going to be a dream for multi-placing. I can't wait to work on this kit, to be honest. I I thoroughly enjoyed working on the, my first kit from her, Hang In There by Cute But Weird, that little bumblebee. Thoroughly enjoyed it. The quality was outstanding. I really, really, I could, can't say enough how much I enjoyed working on that. So uh, I can't wait to work on this one especially i just fell in love with the image i could hear the cat screaming to come back in i closed her out i can't win you guys my husband is off for another week of vacation so it's gonna make it really difficult to film without him making noise <laughs> i tried to to get it filmed before he got back from the gym but uh i did not i'm just looking to see here let me grab these dark drills Hard to see darker just because of the lighting. Shh, shh, come here. That's just Abby the cat. She's had a stressful morning. We had Shaw Cable over trying to fix our internet. So she doesn't like visitors. So she was quite traumatized by that. And then we've just been bustling around the house, which she doesn't like either. So <sighs> bear with the noise in the background, guys. I feel like I have a house full of kids and I, and I don't have a kid. <laughs> Anyways, this is Moody May Diamond Painting. Again, she's called Roselle by Michelle. Uh, I don't want to mispronounce her last name, but there it is on the screen for you. Again, that original artwork. I will have links to Moody May's shop down below. Now, right now, because of her hard pregnancy and the fact that she's about to pop, at least in a couple of months, from what I recall, how she's restocking things it's not like, you know, every Tuesday, this is going up and every Wednesday that's going up. She's doing it when she feels good. So my best advice for you is follow her on Twitter. That's where she will tweet when she's doing a restock and head over to the website as soon as you can. If you want to get trays or diamond paintings, whatever she's restocking that day, uh, they do sell out quick, especially her trays. Everybody knows her trays are hard to get. But they do work really well. So uh, I recommend if you're trying to purchase just to buy one, add one to your cart and check out really fast. If you try to add more, um, you're going to get cart snatch, snatched likely. So keep that in mind. I know it sucks being Canadian. Uh, the other thing I need to uh, warn you guys about is shipping. This recently came up in my Facebook group as well. When you order from any small shop in the States and they send you a package by UPS, you are going to pay a broker fee. It's going to be upwards of $30 and then you're also going to pay customs fee on top of it. So that customs fee will depend, of course, on the total amount that you purchased. Uh, so say if you order three diamond paintings, your customs fee is going to be a little bit higher. And the broker fee is also going to be higher. So keep that in mind. UPS, you're always going to pay a hefty fee on arrival and that's not the small shop's fault it's ups's fault and um there's no real way around it for a small shop legally to send a package i i asked her to ship these to me usps sorry it gets to be a tongue twister after a while that you think they would pick a different name but usps so that comes by the united states postal service and then it switches to canada post when it crosses the border there's no broker fee, but you do have to pay customs fee. So in this in this order, my shipping, I can't remember because she actually did refund me because I placed three separate orders. So she actually did refund me quite a bit. 
if I can calculate myself what shipping was, I'll pop it up on the screen. But I did have to pay an extra $50 Canadian on arrival for just customs. And that's because I had this diamond painting. I have an even bigger diamond painting. I had three small trays, upgraded toolkit, and glitter drills. So my bill was high. So that's why I had to pay a higher customs fee. So just keep that in mind. When you are checking out and you see First Class International, that means USPS and that's what you want to choose. You will pay more up front, but you should pay less overall, if that makes sense. So just keep that in mind for ordering from any small shop, especially when you're ordering diamond paintings from the States these days. Um, it is quite expensive and USPS is, is this best way to avoid unnecessary huge fees on arrival. Okay, um, that's it for this video. I'm going to unbox the other one in a separate video because we're already at 30 minutes. So uh, if you want to see another new diamond painting that she's recently come out with, check out that video. And I'll also have the upgraded toolkit so you can see what comes in that uh, in that video as well. So uh, any questions about this canvas, let me know down below. If you have ordered this from Moody Made, have you started working on it? Have you added any more ABs or any special diamonds? I'd love to know what you did if you did bling this kit up or if you changed anything at all. Um, yeah, really excited to start working on this kit. Kit. I hope you guys would check her out and give her some support. So until next time, happy diamond painting and I will see you later. Bye.